Russ, what did you see specifically working with the defense in that second half? Uh, we got back in transition. I thought we did a good job of um, not just getting back, but executing, matching up, talking, running around, getting stops, putting our bodies in front of them, making them shoot tough shots. Did you see something specifically with White, who played for almost that second half, and the way that he was guarding screen roll coverages that, that might have initiated something? Yeah, man, he did a hell of a job of just using the size, using his, his voice, talking, uh, which was big for us. Um, as you've seen, it was big for him, too. Kept him active, uh, did, a, did a hell of a job. Russ, AD mentioned the halftime discussion, uh, and, and Frank felt like it was something that sometimes a coach needs to do. What resonated from that moment uh, with you personally, and how do you think it affected the team? I mean, I think first for the team, I think it was good. Uh, you know, got kind of guys going, got their minds right. Um, and honestly, for me personally, I already knew I was playing shitty, so I knew I had to step it up anyway. Um, in order for us to have a chance to better win the game. So that's why it's two halves in this in this game. And, you know, the tell of two halves to tell, you know, tell a difference in tonight's game. For us, at this point, you guys have played more games without LeBron than you played with him um, for a variety of reasons. But I'm wondering, what was the, the reaction for you personally this morning when you found out that it was, you're going to be without him again uh, for, for however long? I uh, mean, uh, my, my thing is more just uh, him. Just mentally um, and physically, you know, it can be difficult playing and not playing, you know. Um, and I know he, he wants to play and he wants to compete. So that's where, you know, my, my main thing is. So um, I'll definitely, you know, call and check on him, you know, once I leave here, just check his mental, making sure that he's in a good space because uh, it could be difficult, you know what I mean, uh, especially kind of in and out of the lineup. What's the thing that has played only 11 games this season? How does your approach change when he's not playing? Um, it's the same for me. Uh, it don't change. Um, you know, my approach to the same each and every night. I, I kind of pride myself on being consistent in that, um, having the same approach because, uh, you know, my team and my teammates need it. For us, you, you had some of these, you know, tougher starts earlier in the preseason and early in the regular season and, and, you know, they would become bad games. Today, you have a tough start, but it comes you know, a strong second half for you, personally kind of sparking that third quarter rally. Are you finding yourself more able at this point in the season, especially on this team, to kind of course correct and, and make adjust for the adjustments you need to be successful? Well, I mean, honestly, it just really depends on what you consider bad halves. You know, you may think a bad half is something that I may not. You know, it really depends, you know, so... Honestly, for me, the game, like I always say, the game I always tell you what to do. Um, my game is not predicated on if I make shots or not, if I can be one for 10 in the first half and have 10 assists and we're winning or we have a chance to win, then I'm doing my job. Uh, so for me, is you know, how I predicate my game is how hard I'm playing um, and my energy level. Um, and the first half, I wasn't playing hard enough. So that, to me, I was playing a, a bad game. I don't predicate my game on miss and made shots turnovers, whatever, rebounds, or whatever that may be. Um, my ability and my talent and my God's gift is to be able to have an engine that keeps going and going and going. Um, and when I'm not doing that, then I know that I'm not, you know, putting my best effort, my best foot on the, on the floor. Thanks, I have another one for you. Um, AD said that he felt like the key to keeping the fourth quarter lead today was, was pace. Yep. And that's something you've talked about a lot. Do you think you guys are getting – better at sustaining the pace throughout the second half? You have to. Um, we don't need to slow down. Our advantage is our pace and our speed. Um, and it's my job to make sure that we constantly keep putting pressure on the defense because uh, as the games go along, you keep putting pressure on people. Um, it's hard to sustain. Um, and that's a part of something that we have to do as a team. Yep. Thanks, yep. Recording stopped.